Hello, I'm Paulie Capo, and welcome to Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to be accomplishing the corkscrew lower. When rescuing a firefighter in a multi-story building, the rescue is not complete until the firefighter is out of the building getting advanced life support. Taking that firefighter to the stairwell or through a floor below may not be enough. In a multi-story building with a U-return staircase with a well hole, a corkscrew lower can be accomplished. We're going to do this with the use of a Stokes basket as well as without one. First, we will apply our friction device. In this case, we're using the rail of the stairs. In rapid intervention, using what you have at the time will be reality. In the event that a bridle is not accompanying the Stokes basket, and it is often the case when the Stokes is used for writ, a bridle bowline can be tied. This should be tied prior to placing the member into it so that the head elevation can be just how you want it, being that it is adjustable, just as a bridle would be. After the head elevation is how you would like it, lock the bridle bowline in place. When done, the member is placed into the stokes. As the firefighter is lifted up, the load is taking up on the rope. The firefighters descend with the injured member as the ropes go down into the well hole. Now we will accomplish the corkscrew lower in the absence of the stokes. The firefighter will be packaged, if not already, and the rope will be connected right to our firefighter. As the firefighter gets lifted, the person controlling the descent will take up slack. When all the load is on the rope, the firefighter will go down with the rescuers in a corkscrew manner. The firefighter is packaged, if not already, and the rope is applied. As the firefighter is lifted up, the load is taking up on the rope. The firefighters descend with the injured member as the ropes go down into the well hole. You just watched a corkscrew lower in a multi-story building with and without a Stokes basket. I'm Paulie Capo, Brian Schomborn, Dominic Briganti, Kevin O'Connor. On behalf of us all, we would like to thank our sponsor, Globe, for their dedication in firefighter safety and survival. We'd also like to thank St. Petersburg College Fire Training Center, and thank you for watching another episode of Training Minutes. <laughs>